afternoon and thank you for joining us at the Fuchs Tech Talk today. I'm Gregory. And Lovie here. And together we are in the technical team at Head Office Isando. Today we are discussing industrial gearbox oils and the challenges these products face in application. Lebo, could you explain the application to us? All right, moving gears that generate um, varying degrees of sliding and also rolling friction. This happens under um, different loads and also directional forces. As a result, you will have heat and pressure forming between your contact zones. That will lead to pitting and also wear on your gears. To overcome or minimize the challenge, Fuchs Renolin CLP range offers you the highest performance with um, outstanding EP additives which are your extreme pressure characteristics and also better load carrying capacity. Although there's a vast range of viscosities within the CLP range, for example ISO 46, 220, 320, 460, right up to 30,000 centistokes, which is very, very thick, we only use three base wells in our product. So the three base oils we have from group one, two, three, it's your mineral base oils. And then you have group four, which is your synthetic base oils, which include your polyalpha olefins. And then group five, we have polyalkaline uh, glycols, which is your PAG. So Greg, why do we have two synthetics? The reason for that is you have a group four, which is polyalpha olefin. And that does contain a certain amount of acid where PAGs do not contain acid, they are acid neutral. And in applications like worm gears, we have a huge brass gear and a steel worm that drives that gear. You cannot have acid because acid attacks the yellow metal. That is the reason you use a PAG in mixed metal applications. So it is very important to remember that although the base wells are a crucial part of it, ISO viscosity grades are just as important. If it's too thin, you'll increase wear and pitting. If it's too thick, you'll generate heat, which can lead to other problems. So it's always important to start off at what the OEM recommends. From that, we look at environment, we look at the application, the loads, and we might recommend something different to that. But OEM, rule of thumb, start with OEM. Thank you. Please subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms and smash the like button.